everyone today we will learn verb form and numeral form of fractions before that you should know what is fraction and what are its types so if you haven't watched video on fractions i have shared link in description you can see from there let's begin word form first we'll do the word form uh, we'll do the word form with an example like word form of 5 by 7 so 5 by 7 I have already said how to write the word form, but there are a number of ways to write the word form. So five is numerator and seven is denominator. In every word form, we'll be writing five first and seven after that. But there are different ways to write. The first way, whichever we are writing is very important because when you're doing numeral form, you'll be getting the question of the first form only. So first form is five, sevens ths will not write only seven we'll write th sevens ordinal numbers that we have done in low grades so sevens why s we are using here because five is written if they they have written one only then s will not be written so it is five sevens second way like i said five by seven this time you'll not write ths just five and seven five by seven or we can read it as 5 divided by 7. Next way is 5 upon 7. The other way 5 over 7. Then 5 out of 7. It means 7 is total and out of 7 we have 5. So every time you can see we are writing 5 at the first place and 7 at the second place. But in the first form we use the ordinal number that is 7. And other ways we have write by, then we use the keyword divided by, upon, over, and out of. So these, this is the six ways to write the word form of the fraction. You can choose any one of them and can write an exam and it will be correct. Okay, let's see an, an, another example. If you haven't subscribed my channel, kindly subscribe. Okay, let's see the word form of three by five. Now, I already speak the way 3 by 5, but the first form is, we'll write 3 first and then the ordinal number. So, 5 is written as fifths. So, 3 fifths, second will be 3 by 5, 3 divided by 5, 3 upon 5, 3 over 5, and 3 out of 5. So, these are the ways of writing. But remember this, we are writing fifths by S because they have used 3 here. Now, let's see another example. We have word form of 1 by 2. Now, this time, ordinal number for 2 is second. But we are not using second here. For fractions, we use half instead of second. So, this is only exception here. So, in the first word form, you write 1 half, not halves, because 1 is used here. So, 1 is a single, single number. So, we write 1 half. Then 1 by 2, 1 divided by 2, 1 upon 2, 1 over 2, and 1 out of 2. So these the these ways are very easy. You just might you just need to remember the keywords by divided by upon over and out. Okay, let's see another example. That is 1 by 3. So for 3 also we use the keyword, we use the keyword same, but the 3, the ordinal number is third. But this time we'll not be writing thirds because one is in the denominator. So we'll write one third, not thirds. So one third, one by three, one divided by three, one upon three, one over three, and one out of three. So these are the ways you can choose any one way to write the word form of fraction. And even you can speak or read in any way, like I said, 1 by 3, 1 divided by 3, whatever you are comfortable and you can read the fraction in any of these ways. Okay, so let's, now it's your time to do some workout. This question is for you. Write in the comment section, I'll check the answer later. So you have to write, write this fraction in word form. Choose any one way and write in the comment section so that I can check the how many of you have done it correct. Okay, let's begin with the numeral form now. So, three fourths. I have written three fourths. It's very easy. You already know three will be the numerator and fourths means four will be the denominator. That is three by four. Next is five 
tens. Five will be numerator and ten will be the denominator. Seven twelves. Twelves. Now seven by twelve. It means seven will be numerator and twelve will be denominator. We'll be writing the fraction bar here. Eight nines. Eight in the numerator and nine in the denominator. So this numeral form is very easy. You know the first number will be the numerator and the second number will be the denominator. Okay. So I'll be giving you some questions now. Do it quickly, orally in your mind and then check your answers with me that you're correct or not. Just give a quick read. Pause the video. Okay. Now let's begin. Now you check your answer which you have done in your mind. Nine fifteens. This is fifteens, not fifths. So 9 in the numerator and denominator will be 15. 1, 5, 15. 9 by 15. 5, 11s. Now 11s means 5 in the numerator and 11 in the denominator. That is 5 by 11. 9, 14s. It's not 4s. 14s means 9 by 40. 2 thirds. It means 2 by 3. So the numeral form is also very easy. You will be able to do. Now it's your time again to do some workout. Pause the video, attempt this question in the comment section. I'll check. So the question is write seven eights in numeral form. It's very easy. Write down. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications for our upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.